Dear colleagues, today's presentation is dedicated to demonstration of parameters and quality of revolutionary device made by Econica Medical Engineering, Odessa, Ukraine. We have developed two devices, I'll show you their properties. And the reasons for their appearance were the intention of our developers to introduce ozone therapy methods to treat viral pneumonia. The whole world is now facing this problem. And the proposed treatment regimens don't show themselves in the best possible way. Nevertheless, we have encouraging results in the use of ozone therapy methods. As you know, the problem arose last fall, and today it has only worsened. Many countries resort to a strict quarantine methods. There are not enough hospital beds. But this spring we have data on the use of rectal insufflations and extracorporeal blood treatment and it showed remarkable results. There was a decrease in the severity of the disease, the extinguishing of the so-called cytokine storm, reducing the length of hospitalization and rehabilitation of patients, improving the overall prognosis of patients who are in remission. Also, this summer, our colleagues from Georgia and India developed a method of treatment with the help of physiological solution infusion, which are also strikingly effective in treating viral pneumonia. It seems like it's the same method like altogema therapy, blood treatment with a zone dissolved in the salt solution. But it's not so. This mainly applies to the volume of blood cultivated. The traditional method of infusion of ozone salt solution involves blood processing with a volume of 5 to 6 liters. Secondly, it is an important difference that the proposed method does not require doctor's intervention and can be performed by a nurse. In particular, our doctors used a physiological solution with very good results. The scheme was next. They prepared a bottle of physiological solution and transmitted it across the barrier to the red zone. Thus, doctors should not obtain permission to work with infected patients. Also, without putting himself in danger, can provide significant help to patients. So, we developed two devices. Both have mostly similar functions, for example, implementation of rectal and vaginal insufflations. Just connect the special tips to the device output and you can perform these procedures easily. We can also perform auricular insufflation procedures. You just need to connect special headphones to the device. The headphones come complete with the device. This procedure is also very effective, in particular in the treatment of otitis in sinusitis, which often accompany this new kind of viral pneumonia. In order to use the salt solution infusion method, we created a second device. Outwardly, it's no different. But an important difference between it is, 
that there is a photometric ozone concentration determinant inside. So it allows you to maintain a constant concentration of ozone in gas at 5%. The devices don't require a gas cylinder or concentrator. They have a built-in electrolytic source of oxygen, ozone and hydrogen, first in the world. Naturally, all these methods can be used at home. For example, this device is only for home use, and this one with accurate concentration measurement can be used for medical purposes. Moreover, this device appeared on the basis of our development of hydrogen therapy methods. It also turned out to be useful, because there is a strong evidence that hydrogen inhalations can be used to treat viral pneumonia. It's very simple. Put a special stand on the device platform and it's ready for inhalations. This procedure has no restrictions and can be performed for hours and even during night sleep. Next important function is preparing of hydrogen water. Hydrogen water is an amazing product for the treatment and prevention of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's disease, lateral sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease. And there is a huge amount of scientific information about it. I also think, but it hasn't been proven yet, that taking hydrogen water will facilitate the course of the disease and accelerate the rehabilitation of patients who have suffered viral pneumonia. In addition, there are a few other features. The Teflon platform on the device is heated to 120 degrees Celsius. It allows you to prepare hot drinks with hydrogen. You can also saturate alcoholic beverages with hydrogen. Of course, this doesn't directly concern our topic. But we got amazing results in laboratory research. We have proven that hydrogen completely relieves the toxic effect of alcohol on the body. So, this is another interesting area to pay attention to, when the problem of the pandemic stops worrying us. Thank you for your attention. I was happy to tell you about our latest achievements. And I hope they will be useful for you.